What purpose does the gentleman from North Carolina rise? I have an amendment at the desk, Mr. Chairman. The clerk will report the amendment. Amendment offered by Mr. Meadows of North Carolina. At the end of the bill before the short title, add the following section. None of the funds made available by this act may be used for entering into a new contract for the purposes of purchasing ammunition before the date the report required by Section 567A is submitted to Congress. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a simple amendment which will ensure the Department of Land Security is being accountable to Congress and, more importantly, the American people. Earlier this year, it was reported that DHS solicited bids for some 1.1 billion rounds of ammunition. This was more than ten times the amount that the Department purchased in fiscal year 2012. Given this large purchase, the American people and members of Congress rightfully had concerns and questions. The Appropriations Committee has recognized these concerns, and by including language in this bill to address the ammunition purchase by requiring DHS to report the cost and the need to Congress. This initial report is required to be submitted at the time of the President's budget. I commend the Appropriations Committee for their work in this area, and my amendment would complement their efforts and prohibit any new purchases of ammunition until the required report is submitted to Congress. It does not prevent existing contracts for procurement from being carried out. This is a responsible amendment which ensures that Congress and the American people are aware of the necessity and the cost of ammunition prior to entering into new contracts for procurement. On April 15, 2013, DHS had an inventory of almost 250,000 rounds of ammunition. In fiscal year 2012, DHS purchased 178,200 rounds. This is less than half the inventory that they have on hand. And as of February 22, 2013, there were 62,618 employees at DHS trained and certified in firearms. Given our current inventory, each individual has nearly 4,000 rounds before our inventory would be exhausted. With these facts in mind, it is important that we are responsible in entering into contracts for ammunition purchases. My amendment will ensure that this is the case. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your time, and I urge support. I yield back my time.